What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to do an SEO audit and reporting tool to analyze our website and have some insights of what to do according to your digital marketing strategy and SEO. We're gonna be using an online and free tool by SEO Optimizer and you can search for seoptimizer.com or just type SEO optimizer on Google and you're gonna find this page of course there's a premium plan in the case that you want advanced reports but starting from the free one you already can have some amazing results and you can have nice and complete reports generating new ideas of good things to do and improve your website SEO and page rank and overall digital marketing strategy. Here's some tools of the website, what this reporting tool can do, some reviews of the customers, why use SEO optimizer. And now let's get started. We're gonna keep on the free plan as you're gonna be able to see there are some limitations but the free is already complete and will help you a lot if you don't know what to do on your site grab your website url complete one and post into this code once i um, already have made some previous reports to check you can see this notice into the banner that i have already got the maximum number of requests per day and I can upgrade to the premium plan because there's no free launch. But as you can see, we already got some nice results. The report is completed. If you look at the overall notes, it's pretty good, but there's things that we can do to improve it. First of all, let me show that you can share on Twitter and copy the report page URL. And if you are a premium member, you can even download the PDF to share with your company users, your company team. Let me just get started with the worst scenario right here. That is the social results. That is the social media. You do not appear to have a clear social media strategy. As you can see, this site is missing the Facebook pixel. So this is uh, one of the reports. We got Twitter and Facebook presence, but we do not have Instagram presence. YouTube and LinkedIn. Let's go back to the all recommendations. We have 10 recommendations. The very first one, it's on page SEO that add a header H1 tag. It's a medium priority and the page does not seem to have any H1 tag. And this is important for SEO, of course. Here's another description and some recommendation. As you can see, there's a um, red symbol on it with an X saying that we do not have into this page the complete material. And this is the result of what we should do. This is the keyword consistency, the keyword distribution, in other words. Image out attributes. This is a quite tricky result because we do not have to, we not need to have all the attributes and key phrases in all of the image. In fact, Google does not like it because we keep repeating and repeating the attributes. So take a look at the result and see if most of your images already have it. And if so, no need to worry. Now let's move to performance. We need to remove inline styles and for usability, we need to remove phone size, review phone size, and remove plain test email addresses. This is another thing that we need to look at. 
into this page, we seems to have the email addresses typed in plain text, and this is not good. They do recommend a form or a link in some, time, some cases. Here's the result. The website in mobile and tablets, Google fonts, flash use it, iframe, email privacy. Email addresses have been found in plain text. And this is an X for a report. You can click on show details to see more, up, more about the issue. And the other issue is the legible font styles, the font sizes. The font is a, it's not that big in other devices, and this can difficult the readability of the page. So increase the font a little bit can fix it. Now let's go to the final option that is the performance. They do offer complete reports of the performance and loading speed with graphics so you can fully understand what your website is loading, how many time and how many size this is taking. So the result is complete and you can have an overall idea of files, number of requests. And the unique issue right here, it's the inline style. This can be fixed using some WordPress plugin or reviewing the CSS files to compress the HTML code. And it is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I hope you guys gonna be using tools like this to improve your website because it's under your responsibility and the success of it, it's about your work as well. And it is. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video, and I see you later. All the best!